So we got a collaboration track with Me and Unicorn that we're gonna be dropping today. Uh, I got a couple of remastered tracks uh, and another track or two. I'm definitely waiting for Me and Unicorn to hop up here tonight uh, and see what we can get going. So this is part two. So there's the album video. Welcome, inner tubes. Blue Unicorn here. Blue Unicorn would like to begin the prologue with a dire warning. One realm of this unicornium oft frequented by a Blue Unicorn is that of the realm of the First Amendment Auditor. As uh, Blue Unicorn passively observes, Blue Unicorn has noticed a phenomenon known as the cam back. Uh, having recognized the significance, uh, Blue Unicorn thought to warn these warriors of First Amendment Heim that this comeback is very serious and is actually a dark spell. The person doing this comeback is projecting a dark energy that words best describe as I believe this thing that you are doing makes you a jerk. Therefore, you are a jerk for doing it. Which is a powerful spell known in ancient times as one's own opinion. Then this person casts their dark magic by then visualizing mentally, I will now do this very same thing that you are doing that I do not like. This thing that jerks do. But I am not the jerk when I do it because you are the jerk. And thereby, the spell may cause you to be the jerk, even though the equation actually makes the cambacker two jerks. So, in effort to ward off this magical attack, Blue Unicorn hereby calls those First Amendment auditors to whom the comeback occurs should, in the most serious tone musterable say, allowed this magic incantation. I know you are, but what am I? And then, zoom in on the face made by this comebacker as they try to ponder what one meant by saying that. Uh, Blue Unicorn begs these auditors to do this thing because Blue Unicorn thinks that would be funny. However, if they counter and cast the defensive spell, I am rubber, you are blue, then run. Their magic may be too powerful for simple 1A magic. It may require level 2, or 3 even. Uh, next, Blue Unicorn would like to congratulate Blue Unicorn for congratulating one new addition to the sacred subscriber count. Hot Trash is 46 the next chosen number was to be 409, and Blue Unicorn had this bit where Blue Unicorn would play a sample of the weatherman fighting a centipede with Formula 409, but most people would not get that joke. But then, Blue Unicorn realized that when Hot Trash made this comment, Blue Unicorn immediately recognized that one Hot Trash knows what a Blue Unicorn is, and certainly why it is important. So for having such wisdom, Hot Trash receives this top prize of this picture of this beautiful dead thing. In this case, it's a white-tailed skimmer.
that found itself in Blue Unicorn's killing jar, and now into Blue Unicorn's wall. Congratulations, White-Tailed Skimmer, for dying, and to Hot Crash for receiving a gift of a picture of this dead thing. All hail the three and the twenty. One one one, one thirty eight, three oh three, three three three, and now four six one four six. That being said, on with the show. 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 Blue Unicorn often pontificates upon certain topics or things that typically most people take as a given or an axiomatic truth. Uh, things of the nature of good and evil, right and wrong, absurd or profound, etc. Blue Unicorn believes that these dualistic paradigms are very much two-dimensional and taken as given rather than discussed in a philosophical and or even a pragmatic sense. Today, our topic is one of relativity and perception. As one can see here in this picture, that this is clearly the absolutely best possible thing that could have happened. If you're the lion. So, what is good for a lion, is bad for the Impala. Uh, so what is good and bad, right and wrong, only a matter of which side one is standing. Blinicorn believes these things are one and the same things. Uh, what is good is bad, and what is dead brings life. The unicorn will demonstrate. Uh, several examples could be made, but we'll start with this drum beat. This beat was pounded out particularly for one Deedsville Network Entertainment. Uh, for those of whom are not familiar with Deedsville Network Entertainment, um, Deedsville Network Entertainment is a very talented music producer and arranger of sound. Uh, Bleenicorn does not only use this product, but is also a fan. And you should too. So please follow the link in this description and subscribe and all of those things. Smash it, all of those things. Uh, Blue Unicorn, being a hyperdimensional being, is able to see one thing from all perspectives and then by choice picks the most cynical or morose. So an example of this is this beat. This beat having inspired Blue Unicorn to feel certain things, uh, Blue Unicorn made this video slideshow of almost every picture of every dead thing Blue Unicorn had on Blue Unicorn's laptop. Have a watch and listen to Everything Dies by Blue Unicorn.
as mentioned before, uh, Blee and Corn made this beat specifically for Deedsville Network Entertainment. Blee and Corn had no particular idea in mind while making this beat, but having heard what a Blee Unicorn's perspective might have been, uh, let now this unicornium see and hear what Mr. Deedsville Network Entertainment was inspired to do with this exact same beat. Let it rip, Deedsville Network Entertainment. see and hear the very same beat that inspired Blue Unicorn to make a video using almost every picture of every dead thing Blue Unicorn has taken inspired a work of beautiful art and vivacious life-giving vibes created by one Deedsville Network Entertainment using the same beat let the Unicornium all hail Deedsville Network Entertainment for this wizardry of light. The point, however, is that the beat itself is not this thing or that thing. It merely is. But the Unicorn concludes that all things are simply what they are. And only in one's own perception is it designated being a good thing or a bad thing? A darkness or a light? A heathen industrial drumline? Or a life-giving rhythm for a jazz ensemble? Which, incidentally, is the French pronunciation for the English word ensemble. 
Blue Unicorn thanks Mr. Deedsville Network Entertainment for this wonderful demonstration of relativity and perception. This concludes What is a Blue Unicorn and Why Is It Important? Episode 6. Thank you.